Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and today's video is a very special collaboration to celebrate Pride Month. My friends Hexchin, the Dolly Geek and Kairos Workshop all created dolls from RuPaul's Drag Race winners. Everyone's doll is just stunned, so make sure to check out the other videos as well. Links are in the description box below. After I created the fabulous Hungry two years ago, I really wanted to make a doll out of my comfort zone again, so I decided to make Alaska from RuPaul's All Stars Season 2. I'm going for the super artsy look from Plastic Magazine. Alright, there's a lot of work to do, so let's dive right into it. For Alaska I wanted to use a doll that I've never worked on before, so I decided to begin with a queen already, Poison Ivy from the Disney Descendant Girls. Those dolls have a torso joint which is awesome and they're tall which suits a real queen. Just like myself in the evening, I'm removing her face first. With acetone this is such an easy way to do. Next I'm giving her a buzz haircut to be able to get rid of all the hair. And poof, editing skills make it possible to do that in a second. Alright, let's start with the face. First I gotta overdraw that lip line, because if your lips aren't big enough to be seen from a mile away, you're doing it wrong. I'm using a darker pencil first, but I will paint her lips with some gouache paint later. I'm also doing some real life photoshop by contouring that tiny face. I'm just doing it slightly, because the actual foundation on Alaska is very light in color, so I don't want to overdo it. On to her eyes and eye makeup. The eyeliner needs to be so sharp you could cut onions with it, so I'm drawing it with a brown pencil first before going in with paint. Yay! Get that symmetry going! By turning the head upside down from time to time, it's easier to make it as symmetrical as possible. Here I fill up the second brow. The eyebrow game is strong on this face up, but I had so much fun drawing it. Now I gotta go in with black to make the eyes and eyeliner darker. Just like in Photoshop, you work in layers by drawing face-ups. By using lighter colors first and then darken them bit by bit, you create a lot of depth in the face-up. Make sure to always keep your pencils super sharp for the perfect lines. The lower lashes gave me a bit anxiety because they're so bold and dark and I didn't want them to look silly, but I think I managed. Onto the eye red. I'm adding some blue colors to both eyes and blend the dark and light blue shades just like I'm blending my morning smoothie. I already added some eye whites with gouache paint here. Onto the liquid liner. This is like drawing liquid liner on your own face, just like a million times smaller. No, maybe not a million times, but it feels like it sometimes. Making the eyebrows symmetrical was the biggest challenge on that face-up, because they are so bold and you see every small mistake. I also use paint on her lower lashes and intensify all the colors with each layer. I decided to make Alaska's lips a little bit more pearly, so I added some super light pearly color to them. It was difficult to get them smooth in color, so I needed a little bit of patience until it was perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Before adding gloss, I'm adding gorgeous eye shines for some extra depth. Time to glue on those lashes. I said, time to glue on the lashes. Glue on, oh my God. Well, that was not so sweet, but you know what is? Boxu. But Elisa, what is boxu? Let me tell you. Boxu is the only Japanese snack box that partners with 100 plus year old family snack makers. You can order a single box or if you just can't get enough, you can subscribe monthly starting at only $24.99. <laughs> Your box is sent with free shipping and tracking to over 40 countries worldwide. It comes directly from Japan within five days after your order. It might take one to four weeks for it to arrive, but then again, good things take time. Your first box is the Seasons of Japan box with hand-picked Japanese snacks throughout the seasons. Every month is different and unique, so there's always something to look forward to. So, what's in the box? 20 to 25 classic or 10 to 14 tasting Japanese snacks, candy and tea pairing curated around a fun cultural theme. The whole box experience is like a gourmet journey through Japan every month. Boxu always creates a monthly themed box, so you will never get the same snacks twice. You can eat it all by yourself, or you can share it with family and friends. Oh my god. You good? Oh my god. You're amazing. What's up? <laughs> Everything's so good. You even get a nice little magazine. So you can read about each product's origin and flavors on 20 plus pages, so you know exactly what you're eating. The subscription renews itself after every month, but you can also pause or cancel anytime you want. You like what you see? Good, because now you can get 10% off and save up to $44 of your authentic Japanese snack box. You can use my code and link in the description box below. And at the same time, you even support my channel. Nice. Thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring this video. And now back onto gluing some lashes on the doll. Okay, so after cleaning my tweezers from a little stickiness, I was finally able to glue the lashes on the doll. It's always a little tricky to glue lashes and not just on dolls, but it looks so good. Time to make the lips shine with Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. We want them to be seen by the gods. I also glossed the waterline and the iris this time, just because I felt a little extra.
heat from a hair iron to set it in place. Repeat that on the other side and we get some perfect hair. Onto the outfit. For her dress I cut out the collar from shiny yellow fabric and glue around the top seam first. Then I pin it onto the bodice of the dress and sew it along the neckline. This was a bit tricky, so I did that by hand. Looking good! The dress bodice is just one big piece. A really funny pattern that I made here. For the sleeves I glue around the bottom seam first. Then attach an elastic to it to make them, well, elastic and then pull a gathering thread to the top. Pin them onto the armholes without stabbing your fingers and sew them on and we are almost done with the dress. Now I just need to close the side seams and of course the back seam. I'm gluing around the bottom seam line of the dress and add a closure. Yes! It looks so nice! I really love how it turned out! The long sleeves will be just two tubes I'm sewing. I glue around top and bottom seam first. Then I sew them together and turn them finished side out. Perfect! They will just be tucked under the short sleeves later. Her shoes are just her upcycled and bedazzled poison ivy shoes. Let's turn them from poison ivy to toxic literary sulfur. I'm cutting away all unnecessary parts and paint them with yellow acrylic paint in multiple layers. Once that's done, it's time to spread glue on them and let that glitter rain from the sky. So sparkly! The most exciting part to make for me were Alaska's nails. She wears those long spiky weapons and I really wanted to create that look by using actual nail art supplies. So I taped her fingers and used acrylic powder and liquid first to build up the claw.
Then after it dried I took them off and glued them to the fingers. Time to paint them pitch black. For the perfect smooth glossy finish, I cover them with some UV gel and let them cure under the UV lamp. And there we have those perfect nails for eating sushi! Last but not least, I needed some accessories, so I decided to create the face mask and the remote. Blue Pixie was so nice to 3D model them for me, and I printed them in resin. For the telephone cord, I used a thread that I dunked in glue, twisted around a metal stick and let it dry for a day. I'm painting the remote with red and black acrylic paint. The dots were really difficult, because they're so small. The mask I just shaded with some light skin tones and then add the lashes. I'm drawing them with a black pencil first and then use gouache paint and a brush to make them look super dark. Last but not least, I'm hot gluing all three parts together. And yeah, we're done! And here she is! I'm so in love with this doll and I'm so happy to be part of this amazing collaboration. What do you like most about her? I love these long nails so so much. And here she is in all her glory. How do you like my take on Alaska? Thank you so, so much for watching this video. And also thanks to all of my patrons who make all of this possible. It means the world to me. Thank you so, so much. And if you liked my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for some future doll content. In my next video, I will be repainting my very own ball joint doll. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep loving yourself. Happy Pride and have a beautiful creative day.
You like what you see? Good. 